What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Harrow Homestead. As you can see, I got the saws behind me and I figured I'd do a little review on them and explain why I've got a saw from two different brands. Um, so let's get started. My first saw I've got here is my Steel MS-271. Uh, this has been a good little saw for the money. I've really been impressed with it. It's uh, it's not a commercial grade saw, but it's not a, just a cheap throwaway residential. It kind of falls in between. It's which you know, some people call it a call them a farm saw, or a, a, you know, a lot of people use these kind of saws for cutting firewood. Um, this has really been a good saw. I think I paid about four hundred dollars for it. And I've cut down probably 20 trees with it since I've had it. Uh, mostly magnolia trees, but uh, some cedars, some pines, uh, some, uh, some sweet gums. Uh, maybe closer to 25 trees now that I think about it. I don't know if I mentioned persimmon or not, but I've cut down some persimmon trees and some ash trees. And this saw has not missed a lick yet. Uh, I've run several, several tanks, several gallons of gas through this thing. And, and uh, she cranks up and runs every time. I've, I've really, uh, really liked it. You can see it's got some, it's had some use put behind it. And uh, if you're looking for a, if you're looking for a saw to cut firewood with, or um, you're like me and you just, you've got some property that you need to keep maintained and taken care of, this, uh, this saw will definitely do the job. Uh, I haven't had to use it in a while, but I wish, uh, I wish when I did the big tree cleanup project around here, I wish I would have uh, had my vlog going by then because that, that really would have shown what what this saw is good for. Uh, it it's really been good. Um, I'll be sure to, I'll be sure to keep a, uh, keep an update on it as I use it in the future. If I have any trouble or problems with it, that's Millie, my dog. <laughs> hey, Millie. She's been down the pond. Anyway, uh, now to, for this Echo CS310, I bought this uh, just for a cheap saw to keep on the tractor and um, when I cut down all my trees uh, I wanted a lighter smaller saw to uh, cut the, to de limb with to make them easier to manage and uh, I almost uh, I would have bought another top handle saw. I, I had a top handle saw before and I, I broke it um, it was a Husqvarna it was a good little saw too but uh, I didn't really want to spend the money on a on a top handle saw when this one I think might only be a pound or two heavier, uh, and I, I don't do enough cutting anymore to, to justify really spending four, five, six hundred dollars on a commercial top handle saw. And this saw it does the job all right. It's uh, I think I paid about 200 bucks for this. Um, some places I think have them cheaper for around 180. I could be wrong. Um, but what made me pick this saw over the steel? And uh, I've said this before, but I'll I'll say it again. I'm not brand loyal. Not brand loyal at all. Hey, Buster. Um, I looked at the steel saw this size that was that was kind of in this class, uh, you know, a little 16-inch saw, 
And the thing that, that turned, there was a few things that turned me off on the steel in this class. One was the steel only had one stud for the bar. Uh, I've had saws like that and I just don't care for that design because the, you have to get that one stud real tight to, to hold the, to hold the bar steady. And, uh, I just, I, I don't like them. Uh, I believe the steel, I uh, could be wrong about this. I'm not hundred percent sure, but uh, the steel may have had a quarter inch chain. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent, uh, where this one's got a, got a three eighths chain on it. Um, the steel also didn't have a tunable carburetor. Uh, you can stick a screwdriver, I'm sorry. You can stick a screwdriver down in these holes on this little saw and uh, you can tune the uh, high and low speed jets to get it running right. That steel over that, uh, that 271, you can adjust it too. I don't have to adjust it very often. I think I've only had to adjust it once from the factory when it left the factory and that's, that was it. Uh, this little saw, I have to adjust it quite a bit. Um, to get a little more power out of it, I did the, I did a, a muffler mod on it. I drilled, a, I took the screen out of the muffler and I don't know if you can, probably can't see it in there, but I, I pulled the muffler off and drilled several, several uh, holes going straight through and it breathes much, much better since I did that. And I also trimmed the limiters on the, uh, actually I think I removed the limiters on these uh, jets. Uh, because when this saw, this saw from the factory just really didn't, it really didn't run very good. And, uh, it runs a lot better now. Would I recommend buying this one? Uh, I don't know. I, it does the job, but, uh, I may try to find, if, if this one ever bites the dust, I may try to find a different one. However, that one right there, that's that steel, that MS-271, I would buy another one of these in a heartbeat and I would recommend, uh, I, I would have no problem recommending this to somebody who's a property owner. This one might wouldn't even, this one might would even be a good saw, like if you're trying to get into a, a tree service and you just don't have the money for commercial equipment, this would probably be a good starter for that as well. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And thank y'all once again for watching the Harold Homestead. Y'all have a good day.